This is Mrs. Peachy, and this is a syllabus overview. I expect that you have looked at the course syllabus and have read it thoroughly and understand the expectations required for this course. To get to your syllabus, you will go to Resources, Course Resources, Star of the Year, or you can hit on the button in Schoology for Course Resources, and then under Start of the Year, you'll find the syllabus there. need to check the daily agenda and the ongoing updates and announcements every single school day for what you should be doing or what is due or what's coming up. These are the general supplies that you'll need. Something to keep track of all your handouts in, somewhere to take notes and or practice problems, something to write with. A scientific calculator, I'll talk about more about this in a moment. A unit packet, um, I know that we're virtual right now. Unit packets are usually the way I teach. I'll try to do as much as I can online. However, if you want a set of the notes so that you can write on the notes and not have to do everything on notebook paper, I believe we were going to have library checkout days where you could also pick up and check out other items besides library books. Library books. More information to come on that soon. Otherwise, I can figure out how to make arrangements to get a hard copy to you if you can't print from home or do not desire to print from home. Um, and then a charge Chromebook. If we're in person, I, you will need some earbuds or headphones that work with your Chromebook. Electronic devices are not allowed while in person. That includes cell phones, Chromebooks, tablets. They shouldn't be out unless you're given permission each and every time for each and every student. They should be in a zipper pocket tucked away so they're not accessible. If you're absent, you're responsible to make up any work that you missed. Just reach out to me if you don't know what to do and I will help you. I do expect that you get on the daily agenda and try to problem solve what you missed on your own. However, if there are pieces that you need from me, be sure to reach out. Tutoring, makeup work sessions or help sessions uh, via Google Meet when possible. Mondays and Tuesdays or Thursday, Fridays, depending if you're A day or B day, from 2.30 to 3.30 if we're hybrid. Uh, you can come to room A129 on your A or your B day. If we're virtual, you can email me to schedule um, an appointment. Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is open to all. You can get onto the Google Meet and use the nickname Peachy Open Tutoring. 12.30 to 4, we'll, you'll need to sign up with me uh, via email. So reach out to me by email to schedule a time. And then any if those times and dates don't work, then reach out to me and we can schedule a time. Academic assessment, how do you get a grade in this class? Uh, your semester grade is broken down into 90% classwork and 10% exams, final exam. Uh, of your 90% classwork, 60% of that is assessments and projects, and 40% of that is learning activities. This is how LSR 7 considers mastery, nearing mastery, and no mastery. All assignments are due on the due date. Assignments on the daily agenda are due that day unless otherwise indicated. Electronic assignments are always due by 11.59 p.m. Late work will not be accepted. However, there is a little bit of twist with that, and that refers to a summative assessment retake policy. So see that for when you are able to turn in late work. Mastery quizzes. I'm not going to speak much about mastery quizzes at this time. I'm still trying to kind of navigate how I want to do that differently since we're doing a mix between in-person and, and virtual. So I will speak it with, pardon me, I will speak about this at a later date. Retake policy for assessments. Ultimate goal is to learn. I want you to be successful. I want you to feel that success and have success. If you're struggling, you need to reach out. However, if you go through a formative assessment that's been graded or a quiz, you may retake those up to two additional times for a total of three attempts, but those must be completed before the end of the unit or the summative assessment for that unit or my, my deadline, whichever comes first. And most of the time, additional practice is required. Retaking an assessment, a big test, I should say a summative assessment. You may be able to retake a summative assessment one extra time, so a total of two times. If you score higher, we will give you that score. If you score lower, we will average the two scores. But in order to, re to do a retake, the following items must be checked off the list. You must attend at least two tutoring sessions one, when possible, in person is preferred. Complete test corrections, usually at the first tutoring session. Have completed notes from the unit of study. So show me your notes that they're filled out. Complete mastery quizzes and other quizzes. Mastery quizzes should be in uh, for 100% if we have any. And other quizzes, you should see an honest attempt at a, a second attempt to make 100. Complete additional practice when applicable. 
have all required assignments completed. So you cannot retake a test until all your late work is turned in and complete study guide if one is given for the unit. Calculators, you need a scientific or graphing calculator. Electronic calculators will not be allowed from your cell phone or other electronic devices uh, when you're seated in person or have them out during class when we're seated in person. This is the kind of calculator we suggest that you get. Um, however, if you already have a scientific calculator, please do not feel like you have to go out and buy this one. This is just the most popular one that I see that kids have the most success with. You will need some kind of scientific slash um, graphing calculator. Either one is fine. If you're not sure if your calculator will work, take a picture of it, email it to me, and I'll get back with you with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day.